Um, vitamin D, most people's vitamin D levels get in that sweet spot between 30 and 50 if they take in around 2,000 IUs a day. But some people need 1,000 and some people need 3,000. We don't want people pushing their levels above 50. And we want people generally to, if you've already taken 2,000, you're above 26, 27, you're probably good enough. And zinc, you want to take the RDI for zinc is about 11. You're getting some in your diet anyway, but you should be taking between 5 and 10 a day. Iodine, the RDI is 150 micrograms a day. And in my supplements, we design them to make it easy for people so they don't have to try to, try to figure it all out. They can just take what you're supposed to take on a mostly vegan diet. We make it simple for people. You don't have to take our supplements, but you do have to take vitamin B12 as you're cutting back on animal products. You do have to take some vitamin D if you're not living outdoors and with no hardly any clothing on. You can't be, we don't want people getting deficient. You do need to have a source of omega-3 fatty acids and make sure your EPA and DHA don't go too low. We don't want to get anyone into trouble. Too many of these vegan gurus are advocating strict vegan diets without supplementation for omega-3 fatty acids like EPA and DHA, putting people at risk of dementia with aging. Because we know a certain percent of people can develop DHA, low levels of DHA in their bloodstream, and low levels of DHA, deficient levels, are associated with shrinkage of the brain with aging. So a nutritarian diet is different. It takes a very careful and comprehensive look at every aspect that affects human health and human longevity to make sure we're not letting our philosophical biases Come affect people in some negative way. Too many people have these diet styles that are their, their philosophy and they'll gamble with people's lives just to prove their philosophy is so good or something. You know, a vegan diet is so great that you don't take supplements. Just take B12. Well, that's taking risks with people's lives.